27, welcome to Thursday. Um, more of the same, just bullshit, random, running around, scurrying, doing little tasks. Uh, talked to a contact at ECS, and um, when, I, when Ken and I are going to head down there again and see some of the facility here in the upcoming days or weeks, we haven't nailed the date down yet. When I do that, I'm going to flash back to the um, 90... Flash back to stock, which will put the 93 on the dongle. Take the dongle down there. While I'm there, they'll recode it to the 91. Then I'll be able to come back. And the Shark works by, by flipping files. Right now, my stock BMW files are in the basement on the Shark. When I plug it back in, it'll swap again. The 93 will move to the Shark and the stock BMW files back to the DME. So we'll do that. Looks like we're going to get this taken care of. Fantastic. I pulled the DME box apart today. They told me it was sharp. They were right. Uh, I don't know why that box lid, it's like a knife blade. It's plastic, it's really weak plastic, but it's a knife blade on the corners. So uh, there's four bolts, two of them came out fairly easily, the other two didn't, they were stripped in there. Uh, the little insert just spins in the board out hole, so I put the drill on it, revved it up to full speed, that got hot enough that it melted the glue or plastic, and then I was able to just pull the whole thing out. I took the DME out, I had a bird's nest of wires, I can barely get that bracket a third of the way out, the fan's all the way at the bottom. Could I do it? Yes, I really don't want to. So it's only going to be an hour or two labor at LMS. I've asked my contact at FCP if I can get that part, it's a Bosch $61 part. So we're seeing about getting that, if I get that then well, I'll get it regardless and we'll get it into LMS, have them do that labor. My God, what a pain in the ass to make this car California ready. This doesn't even have anything to do with any of that. It's just the box fan died and I want to replace it. So this is what I've been doing all day and gotten a lot of it done. I feel better about it. A week ago, it was a big question mark about how I'm going to have to do this. So I've talked to so many people and done so much research. I know exactly what needs to happen now. I've taken a shower. My mom's with her mom at some appointment. The lights didn't fall off the house overnight, so that's good news. It's been storming on and off, and it's still super humid, so I haven't been able to get any mowing done, which sucks because it's Thursday, and by Thursday, I like to have at least two or three of them done, and I'm sitting in a big old goose egg right now. So tomorrow's gonna be mow day. I've gotta to talk to them and see if the bees have been eradicated because I don't feel like getting any more stings. And I'm gonna start over there because that one already looks scruffy. And just like that, it's another short one, I'm sorry. Um, went to dinner tonight with Roslyn and Sabrina at Rosewood Grill in Hudson. They did the happy hour again from 3 to 6. This time we ate inside. I had a uh, pepperoni flatbread and two mojitos for a total of less than $20 out the door. I'm not completely sure what is all over the 330, although it is totally filthy. It's grass. Why is there grass all over it? I guess I did blow off the driveway, but I thought I blew off the car too. That's repulsive. Clean that up tomorrow. Um, we did that, came back here, hung out downstairs for a little bit. They left about 7.10, which left me just enough time to come outside, mow a lawn, trim around the whole property, blow the clippings, come back, clean everything up, and put it away before it got too dark to see. So I was able to get one cut in here on Thursday, which I'm very happy about. Um, right now it's late. Kenan came over for a bit. He just headed back home, and I've turned the lights on back here to kind of get a look at what they look like. Uh, the camera's horrible, of course, at picking this up. Uh, they are definitely more yellow than the old ones, although they don't look completely orange. In the daytime, they look very orange. They're not real bright, but it's enough light just to be able to see if there's anything in the way, where the sidewalk is, usually the recycling canisters back here, so that's why we turn one on to see where that is. It's an adequate amount of light for distinguishing objects. Um, I might take one of the extra white bulbs I took out of the old lights and throw it in one and then compare light color, temperature, and brightness and see which one we like better. But for the time being, that's been great. All of that works. We're happy with the fans. Today I made a bunch of small progress on M5 stuff. I think I talked about it before. Um, I haven't been able to check anything off my list yet of things to do before the move, but I've definitely made headway um, on all of the big projects. So tomorrow we start the weekend. I have a bunch of things I want to work on tomorrow. I'm going to aim for two lawns. I'm going to clean up the car. I got the windows done tonight. I got the interior done tonight. So tomorrow I'll do the body and the wheels and the exhaust. 
I'm gonna mow two lawns. I've gotta hit the grocery store and pick up a few things. Soap, orange juice, and some more stoli. And then tomorrow night, Megan's, Megan, Megan's brother, Megan's brother's girlfriend, and Kenan are coming down. And we're gonna hang out and have dinner and do all that. So tomorrow's gonna be pretty busy during the day. Um, I talked about that part through FCP today. That's a success. That'll be here on the 12th. So I'm gonna call LMS on Monday and schedule something anytime after the 12th to get that e-box fan installed. In the meantime, I'm gonna hit the hay, get to bed. We'll talk tomorrow, Friday. Good night.